I'm a visual person, so I'm trying to figure out how big I want my board to be. So we bought a slab of wood and took it to a sawmill to get it cut up into the exact dimensions that we needed. You can see us cutting the wood that we needed for our mold to hold the wood in the resin so it wouldn't leak out. Everything has to be cut to the exact dimensions and then taped over with Tyvek tape so that the resin won't stick to it. With clear resin, one side we added blue glow in the dark and the other side we added purple glow in the dark. Once the resin and the slow hardener are mixed, you need to stir it for two minutes and then add the pigment. Once the pigment is totally mixed in, then you can see us pouring it in different segments to give it more of a gradient look to it. Then we'll take our stir sticks and kind of mix them together and give it a more of a swirling pattern. So we did two layers at this point, the clear layer and then the colored layer. Once the resin has hardened, you'll need to scuff it up a little bit before you pour your next layer. Now we're pouring another layer of color to give it a little bit more dimension. For our final pour with this frame, we did a clear coat um, just to give it that crystal clear look and it really added some dimension to the board as well. Now that we've arrived here, I would not change a thing. Knew that we'd survive here with all the goodness we would bring. This I sing, everybody swimming in sunshine, everybody feeding fine, everybody join the front line, ain't nobody left behind, everybody swimming in sunshine, everybody feeling fine, everybody join the front line. Note to self, make sure your boards are flat before you pour the resin. This will make your life way easier. Here we have a CNC machine that is using a bit to get off all the extra resin that um, seeped over onto the wood. Because our boards were not flat before we started, we had to put them on a jointer and it just made everything a little bit harder. So we sanded up to 400 grit and then now you can see us polishing. So we would spray it down with a little bit of water and then take the polishing 
um, kit and go over it up to 1200. We started to use a table saw to make a lap joint, but actually ended up finding out that a band saw was much easier to use and much faster. Using the table saw to make one final cut and then a hand planer to smooth it out. Here you can see us routing the inside of the edge, giving up the place for the metal to sit inside the frame. Here my husband is using the circular saw to cut the backer board for the back of the frame. We bought these um, picture frame holders for the back of it and we ended up putting in more because we didn't want the metal to move. Um, so it kind of seems like overkill but at the end we needed more than what you can see in this photo. Say for sure, better not knowing, but it's better than before. But he's the cure. Everybody swimming in sunshine, everybody feeling fine, everybody join the fine line. Ain't nobody left behind. Possible we're drifting, but it doesn't seem to be. We had so much fun making this pen board. Uh, it definitely gave us something to look forward to each weekend while COVID was happening. I would say don't be afraid to try something new. I mean, this turned out beautifully and it really is a piece of art. Everybody join the 